Hello everyone, with the treasure of useful tips, I, Vistar Sharma, welcome you to Aoseeko. We are discussing exams with multiple choice questions and today's topic is Analyze the Exam. Let's start with a story. A company called Dumpster Inc. used to organize one-on-one -on -one challenge competitions every year and gave the dumpster cup to the winner. This year, they organized it in a small town called Liberty City. Two friends, Bob and Sam, from the same town decided to take part in the challenge. It was announced that the challenge would take place in the local junkyard in one week's time. Bob underwent a rigorous physical training for one week and prepared very hard for the challenge. Sam did not go for the training directly. He went on to do some research on previously held challenges. He found out that all the challenges were adjusted according to the location and were more about applying brain than using brute strength. So he researched more about what all was dumped in the junkyard. In the challenge, it was announced that they had to collect maximum number of iron metal pieces from the junkyard. Now Bob was completely taken aback. He could not understand what needed to be done and finally gave up. Because of his research, Sam knew where he could find a magnet in the junkyard. He effortlessly found the maximum number of iron pieces and took home the dumpster cup. Friends, a similar thing happens to many of us when facing a competitive exam. When we don't have enough information about what we are going to face, we cannot prepare well. In order to avoid such mishaps, the key is to analyze the exam. Start as early as possible and do a lot of research using internet, friends, teachers, training institutes and career counselors. Collect as much information as you can so that you can use it to your own advantage. Collect maximum information from the list below. What all subjects or sections are there? For example, physics, chemistry and mathematics are there in almost all the engineering entrance examinations while quantitative abilities, verbal abilities, data interpretation and logical reasoning are the sections from management entrance examinations. So you have to find out what all subjects or sections are there in the exam that you are targeting. What is the weightage given to each section? Some exams have equal weightage for all sections while some have some differential weightage. How much time is given? Is separate time duration given for separate sections or you yourself have to manage the time division? How many questions are there in each section? What is the total time available per question? Do all questions carry equal marks or there is differential marking? Is there negative marking as well? If yes, then how much? Is the exam online or offline? If it is offline, then do you have to fill the circles in an OMR sheet? Does the exam follow a fixed pattern and syllabus over the years or do they keep changing? Are new topics added or removed regularly? Even if it changes, is it announced beforehand or you come to know of the pattern only during the exam? What are the last 5 years cutoffs and pass percentages? By cutoffs, we mean the level below which no one is allowed to advance to the next round. And pass percentages shows the percentage of people who pass out of all the people who have appeared for that particular exam. What is the top score and average score in each of the last 5 years? Based on the top and the average scores, does the exam require more questions to be attempted or less questions but with higher accuracy? Which topics or areas are given more weightage in each subject and so on. Now you might not be able to find all the answers by yourself and might need some expert guidance for some of the information. So we learned today that the first and foremost thing is to know all about the exam. Collect all the information about it. Use the information to your advantage. 
Apart from your personal research on the internet, don't hesitate to ask friends, teachers and the experts for information. Always double check any information you get. Remember, it's better not to have some information than to have wrong information. This video is a part of a whole series of videos. Do watch all of them for maximum benefit. For more such useful tips and secrets to success, watch, like, share and subscribe to Aoseeko. Thank you.